great Scott, I've had an idea. Well, just like Doc Brown in Back to the Future, I hit my head and I had a marvellous idea. Now, one of the good things about that is it gives me some kind of excuse for having this lockdown haircut. Luckily, I have booked an appointment to get my hair cut when the hairdressers reopen in two weeks. But I did hit my head and I've got a black eye. Luckily, I had a good idea about the Kemper. Now, this has been a game changer for me in using it, this one that I've borrowed. So I'm going to play this bit of music first, appropriate to Doc Brown, and I shall tell you what my discovery was after this. <laughs> goes without saying that was The Power of Love by Huey Lewis and the News from my favourite film Back to the Future. Now I'm under no illusions that I've discovered something new here but what it is I realised sitting under my desk which I normally just use to put cups of coffee on I have an acoustic guitar amp it's a full range it's kind of a PA in a box I've had it for years I don't use it very often but I just wanted to monitor the Kemper so I plugged out of the monitor output the Kemper into the acoustic guitar amp. And lo and behold, it almost gave me the feel of plugging into a proper guitar cab. I don't know if it's possible to hear the difference on the camera, on the mic on the camera, but what I was struggling with was playing the Kemper through the studio monitors or headphones, somehow detached. I like the feel of the air moving around me. Now I know you can't always get that in the studio if you've got your amp in another room and you've just got the headphones and sometimes I find that a little bit unnerving. I prefer standing next to the amp, even if you've got the headphones on you can feel it vibrating. So this kind of gave me the best of both worlds so I can monitor what I'm playing over through the studio speakers plus this little amp playing the guitar. So this is what it sounds like plugging the Kemper through this little amp. Even though it's a small speaker, it seems to move the air in a similar way to an actual guitar amp. Now, I don't know how easy it is to hear the difference on the uh, microphone on the camera, but I'm now going to plug through the studio monitors so you can hear the difference. Bear with me. So this is the studio monitors. You might not be able to hear it with the camera, but it, it sounds the same. 
but it doesn't seem to be moving the air in the same way. And they're much flatter response. It's not as exciting sounding. Don't know if you can pick that up, but... It's a similar volume, but it doesn't seem to be hitting me in the same way. So let's go back to the acoustic guitar amp. And then just for comparison, I'm going to plug it into my Vibraverb. Now this has got a 15 inch guitar speaker, whereas that amp has got a maybe an 8 or 10 inch with a couple of tweeters on it. But acoustic guitar amp. Pretty similar. So what I do is now I can play with the Kemper through the amp and then I've got what I'm playing over coming through the studio monitors and I've kind of got the best of both worlds. It feels like I'm playing through a real amp and all of this is at very reasonable volumes to not annoy the neighbours, hopefully. Sorry. So there we are, that's what I discovered. I know I'm not the first person to discover it, but I thought it was a useful tip. And for me, it's made it really enjoyable playing through the mo modeler. It's always something I've struggled with. It's not the same as standing next to a, an amp that's cranked up. But I think this is the nearest thing. And yet, of course, you can also get plenty more gain at a similar, vo similar volume. So I hope that was useful. I hope somebody else manages to do something similar and get inspired the way I have. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.